Okay. So hi everyone, I'm Faith Brilla, and I'm here with David, also known, also known as the Melon Man, and he's going to show us how many carbs in under under three minutes. Under three minutes, everybody. So here you have an exclusive scoop at Faith Brilla Insights to see David Loco carbs. So David, over to you. Yeah, I'll okay. show you now. Okay. Let's move the camera. Okay. Oh, I want to get it a good, great, excellent. Okay. Me. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. What's your name, sorry? Joe. Just call me Joe. Let Joe. Woo! <laughs> wow. Excellent. Two. Yes, it's Yeah. I'm going to set it ready to you. Yeah. Look. Whoa. So what's that? What's this? I should have oh. shown you a new tissue. Another, another shape, okay? Lovely. You can see everybody get my shape. This is what David just carved for me. There you are. Thank you. Oh, and what's this? Oh, whoa. So people cut with the, I, I changed the design. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So look, this is, I do it slowly, okay? Yeah. Thank you. This is the third one, everybody, as you can see. So the trick is, is to do it very slowly, as David just said. So if you ever want to try this at home, you know, make sure that you're really considered in your approach and you do it very slowly as well. Yeah, Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. This is a quicker way to carve ah, it. That's a quicker way to carve it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and that's a quicker way to carve well, it. You're doing for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a cup of flour for you now, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Sorry, but I should say I'm Gilbert. I'm Faith Dad. Yes, it's my dad, everybody. Yeah. Um, yes, I've introduced you to the melon man <laughs> uh, because I'm the coconut man, so from Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm the melon man from Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, in just a few minutes, we'll be talking to David about his journey and sitting down with him as well, so do stay tuned to that. So here you can watch the video and see David carving. Excellent, thank you. So everybody, I'm going to be taking a video and I'll be sharing it with you at Faith Brunel and Faith The Insight. So if you want the scoop, don't forget to follow me on there as well. So, let's go. So, we've got here. Some Simon Cowell. We've got Simon Cowell here, and I'll take the camera around in a bit. Yeah. I'm just doing my... That's Jamie Vardy, Lester. Excellent. That's my first shot there. Yeah, and then over here. What's that? Is that Anton Dick? Oh, yeah. It's Ant. 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 When when we were on the audition in in Cardiff, Richard Smythal, in Brisbane, Yeah, Claude Ranieri. And just get the logo in. They call him AKA the Tinker Man. Tinker Man, yeah. So you're the Jamaica Coconut Man. Yeah, 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 yeah man, yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try and get a knife later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you attempt to. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do do a sculpture. That's um, Amanda. Uh, Amanda Holden. Thank yeah. you. And this is the. Uh, Gino Okompo? Gino? Yeah, I just, I just Gino how to carve in London. They invited oh. me to I think Oh, in London, you're in London. Yeah, yeah. 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 but now we do some of the cooking with uh, Gino. With Simon Cow. Oh, with yes, with um, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, oh, I live in Gino. London, so hopefully I'll yeah. um, pop there one day. So this is your flower, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. There you are. This is my flower, folks. <laughs> Made for me by the melon man. Thank you. But I'm going to do a chest and do a. Can I eat it uh, quick? Yeah, you can <laughs> eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat it later. Okay. okay, so thank you, David. Um, really loving the carvings there. Yeah. Excellent stuff. So yes. This is what I carve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I carve. Mm -hmm. This is the only takeaway in in England. Yeah. They got the presentation with the carving. All right. The food. You so heard I everybody. Like cooking mm -hmm. as well. So the people can just uh, put what I cook and cook everything on recording live. Right. So I I've shared my skill to the world. That's it, everybody. And you've yeah, heard it here. Skill. David is sharing his skills to the world. And David, we were starting the interview. So David, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, nice to meet you as well. My name is Faith Brunel. And yeah. welcome to Faith Brunel's Insights. It's so great to have you here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's get started then. So I've got a few questions I want to ask you because yeah, I'm sure, so excited sure, sure. to sit down with you. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. 
So everybody, first of all, announcement. Today is our very first video podcast. The video podcast is basically where you can see me and listen to me. And David, you're the very first guest here, so I'm really excited. So David, um, a, a little bit of context about you then. So, so, so you were born in Malaysia. Yeah. And just for a little bit of context and information, yep. Malaysia is in the region of Southeast Asia. Uh, the capital city is Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur That's yeah. it, a powerhouse financial. One of the best. Well. Country to yes. visit in Malaysia and mm-hmm. best put in the world is Malaysia. Wonderful. They got too many talent chefs in Malaysia. Yes. You okay. should visit Malaysia, one of the best <laughs> places to visit Malaysia. And you're one of those chefs, and you are, you are one of those chefs who is talented. And yeah. even Malaysia, you know, we've seen it has beautiful beaches and the world famous Petronas Tower. Uh, Kuala yes. Langkawi, one of the best beach I want to visit because uh, because of COVID 19. Mm. Because I was invited to be the judge in Malaysia. They have to postpone it because of COVID. That's why I cannot travel. I hope so this coming September I'm going to visit Malaysia. Right. So right. we are just there yeah. to show my show some of my skill. Yes, David, yes. That is a really, really interesting goal. And I think what I really like um what I really like um find interesting about you is the fact that you want to share your skills, you know, to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it, it's you know, it's yeah. something that you want everyone to experience and yeah, you know yeah, be yeah. involved with and that yeah. is really commendable. And yeah, so as we said, we have the Patronus Towers, sometimes called the Patronus Twin Towers as well. And David, we've seen that you are very well travelled. I had a, a, a quick little um a quick little look at your website and it's very, very interesting to see yeah. where you've been, who yeah. you've met previously before. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so thank you to that and yeah I just want to say you're affectionately known as the Melon Man and we're going to explore that why later everybody so, uh, it's the Melon Man yes, the name they come it. from yes. it's come from BBC but I would do the carving in, in, in the in the tree and uh, the people see what I carve which right. was in outside boring and then the people talk about me and then they bring up to the one of the journalists from the BBC right what's yes. the name of the, the journalist the, the BBC? journalist Joe. Uh, I can't remember his name. But I think he's uh, he's covered then, by BBC. Covered by journey. BBC, and then he write about my about my my journey. Your journey, how, how you came to be. And then he give me the name. It should be Melon Man. The Melon Man. Okay. He give me a double O. The license to thread. That this, yeah. is, <laughs> and, and this is how the story come out. And then then, which is what I am interesting to learn yes. the music, right? Yes. Okay. And then a sample he, of that. He give me the name of. Uh, Melon Man, double O Melon Man. So I started to use this, the name is called Melon Man License Trail. You know that in England, yes. got so many traffic lights, mm. yeah. so many roundabouts, <laughs> yeah. so many can. Mm. Can the driver drive the car can do it one, one, one foot only for one foot. Mm. It's not, you need to get out so many areas. You call me, he call me, your friend call me. Mm. So different direction. Can the driver car, drive the car? Friday, 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 Friday? No. Well, in half an hour? <laughs> and then you let me my food, like calling my food, man. So you need different people, like in different schools. I want sets. to speak up to the world what is about food. Yeah. Chef, it's a skill. Mm. You walk in the kitchen, you cook. All right. Simple. I let you cook three eggs only. Simple. One real cook, one well, medium done, one real well, cook. And I actually want to talk to you about that. Like, So talking, like, you know, talking about the cooking, yeah. what is your signature dish then and why? Uh, because to me, it, mm-hmm. it become a good chef. I think the the best chef is Hawaii. It's the best chef in the world. Mm-hmm. Master chef always rubbish, all talking rubbish. <laughs> I tell you, mm. if a good chef, you cook the food, the kid can eat your food, finish your food. That is a good chef. Yes. The mom is a good chef. I can tell you, mm. that is the master chef. Because you need to think every day. I go to the market. What I'm going to buy? And yeah. I need to cook the food for the children to eat every day. And so your signature dish is. Any dish you, you think that is good, you learn. Mm. The book it just give you some idea. Yeah. But you need to get the skill how to cook the good exactly. food. Exactly. Like the music, I look like oh, very easy. <laughs> I get the guitar. I, I learned the, one of the songs. Mm. It take me more than a year to learn. I'm not a professional music. But you persevere with it, and then and then you know. But I like to learn myself. something. I would like to learn it. Right. And get it right. And I think that's really, what's really important in life, though. If you are yeah. going to learn something, you know, you, you want to share it, you want to get it right, yeah, you're like yeah. like you pushing it. Like it, it, like you, it. You, you become a ballista. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah so that's it. You need to study a lot, right? I need to read a lot, yeah. Right? Yes, reading. Right? Is, yeah, reading is imperative, yes. Yeah. A lot of reading, a lot like of studying. People like to see your, your video, like people <laughs> posting it. Yeah, hi, how are you, everybody? <laughs> yeah. This is about me. I won't be shy at any camera. Yes. I go to Billing Catalan, people say, Oh, Billing Catalan is going to buy you. I'm telling you, doesn't matter. I go in, say, me, it's about me, doesn't matter. Yeah. 
That's the one to show the skill, yeah. what you can do. Yeah. If about, about uh, we are a human, everybody as a parent want the kid to learn something. Mm. Not everybody is clever. Some is not very clever. You cannot want, you got nothing. Mm. I give you a carrot, similar like this. Mm -hmm. I got somebody said to me when I was in Holland, he made one of the dragons, this, this is the real life story about me, show you. This is the dragon, yeah? Yeah, show us the dragon on the camera. Yeah. I mean, okay, this is the dragon. Excellent, thank okay. you. Okay? Yes. And somebody insulting me, you come from Malaysia, mm -hmm. you can cow. China people very clever. No. Everywhere got clever people. Malaysia with barely colored people. This is about me. This is about me, what I'm talking about. Mm, the personal dragon. Yeah. It's like the dragon like this. Yeah. Can you carve it? I, I just have no knife. I went to the kitchen to get one of the steamed knife. I just follow it, the cup, cup, cup. The next morning, mm. it come up the dragon. And yeah. this is start how I carve my thing come up. I want to talk about your carving then. So kind of, why did you decide to become a chef? Well, because I, I like to, because this is Johnny, you have really hard to explain about want to be a chef. I like to eat. Mm. We, all do. we all like to eat. Everybody loves yeah, to eat. Yeah, we all love food. I travel, <laughs> wherever I travel, I went to travel to Thailand, travel to Malaysia. Yeah, and you pick up those skills. I learn the skill. I like to learn the skill from the old people. Yeah. The old people, they got more experience. Mm, yes. It's Young ones, they are lazy now. They never really? going to learn this right skill. <laughs> Now you want to be a barrister, you need to, to how study many books you want to read. A number of books. I know study a lot. Mm. Uh, writing this book is a lot of friends helping me write about this book. About yeah, so let's talk about that book then. So kind of, what was the kind of motivation, the catalyst, you know, behind writing that book? Oh, because this is about, because I always think that making a book is so simple, it's so easy, but mm. it's not. It's very hard to make one of the books, is carved and yeah. cooked. Yeah, look at you in the camera. Yeah, if you carve and cook the book, it's not easy to work. Yes. But I want to do a charity. This is about me. Yeah. This book is about the Lester owner, the son, the yes. father. The and where you with. started from and kind yeah. of like your when, when, and when I cut for the premiership, right, I was invited to Lester to cut the premiership. Mm. I meet the father and son. This is the signature of father and son. Oh. When I had this book ready, I'm going to publish this book. This is for the charity. Yeah. To help the children for the cancer patient. Mm. The first book I published by myself. I used my own money. The property, the first mm. book. I'm not good enough the first book, but this one is good, very, very good. And so, um, you mentioned Lester then. What yes. was the highlight of that experience? Because I like the father, but his father is very, very gentleman. I know he's a millionaire. He's the one of the third richest person in Thailand, mm. but he's very humble. Yeah. I love it. This is something that impressed me. Yeah, humility. To, to make me, to make this book. Mm. And I wrote this book, I worked very hard to talk to different type of chefs to get the chef. This is a chef from around the world. It's about the life of Malaysia. Can I have a look at that? You can have it. Thank have you. a look at it. But I, I haven't had time to go to the, the painting shop to start to publish this book first. It's but this book, every book I sell, I will donation to the Leicester owner. Oh, you donate like in the For, for like the charity for the children's hospital in Leicester. Can I put some on the camera? Yeah, 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 sure, you can. Hey everybody, this is just a little sample of David's book here. Here you go, David. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I want to ask you a few more questions, David, about your journey and kind of like, so, um, yeah, so my research took me to the Guinness Book of Records. Tell us about that experience. Look, behind here, behind here. This oh. is my Guinness, yeah. This. Can you just hold that for me yeah. so you can, let me just get your camera back. So, everyone knows. And this is how he come from the ITV News. Mm -hmm. ITV? Uh, yeah, ITV News. They call me. I would like to interview you to carve something on the Halloween. And he said the cameraman come to my home yeah. and carve it, right? Mm -hmm. And carve it. The cameraman, I carve so quick, he can't get it, me into the <laughs> into, into the video. Yeah. So he bring me to the studio, the 6 o'clock news, and, and ITV and news. What was that like? And then the, when I arrived to the studio in ITV in City Center, mm -hmm. and then he would like to to get me the interview first. Yes. Before live on it. the six o'clock news. Live yeah. on the six o'clock news. And yeah. what is still being live? I said I don't need to rehearse. Is that no you need to like to rehearse first. Yeah. Before live on television. But you know what you want to say, you know. I know what I'm gonna say. And you're ready right? anytime. When I'm I go anywhere I'm ready anytime. This exactly. is that man. And that's a good thing. It's good to be ready all the time and to share your experience with others. Yeah, if you, you go to building Catalan you walk into the state but mm. because the time is supposed to be Simon Cow just me because he 
I'm not feeling well. I want to talk so about Louis that. So Louis wants to judge me. He bought me by me. This is my dad. Bought me. I just got a couple of little cups. And then who the judge of the time is now? I want to talk about Simon Cowell and Britain's Got Talent. Kind of yeah. How did that came about? Uh, Simon Cowell, about because, because uh, every time the Britain's Got Talent do the audition was uh, in Birmingham, right? Yeah, Birmingham. Every time I go there, oh, let me you back again. And then the one of the business call me, eh, hey, Melon Matthew, you're, you're dead, you're dead. Wait, can you come to Simon Cow face? And then pretend that the Melon to Simon Cow. I said, oh, why not? Yeah. actually present the Melon to Simon yeah. Cow. And, and, and that must have been such an experience. How did you feel? What then emotion did you feel? I come and pretend that the Melon to Simon Cow. They look like me. Leave me. <laughs> what emotions were you feeling? That, that most in, important thing that they did to get to know one of the biggest judges in the world, between the talent, Simon Cow. Mm -hmm. It's about, about him. And then I try to get to know him because he you need to reach to the semi final. Yes. Before you can go live. Having watched Bring Talent, yeah, I'm aware of the I know. joined again in Bring Talent. I was was standing audition was in Cardiff and I reached to the semi final in London. I can get to the mm. live show. Mm. They got they only got forty acts can go to the live show. Forty acts. Forty acts you got five thousand people. I was on the group F I think. And then everybody go home. They want the David had to fall. Mm -hmm. It's a judge and uh, Michael McIntyre. Yes. This is my second time I joined the Brazilian Catalan. Right. So I'd like to do something in Brazilian Catalan to cook something for Simon Cowboy in three minutes. That's why I, I get to learn how to play the music and try to join Brazilian Catalan again. Wonderful, David. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks for giving us an insight and sharing your wonderful experiences. I just want to ask a few more questions. Then. So you talked about, about the melon man there. Can you show us some of your lovely designs on the melons? Yeah, I, yeah, I can show you that. Yeah, there, there, there yes. you are. You have a look. I think. Have a look. Okay, everybody. So here, I've got this wonderful book here that says "Carve, Cook, and Learn." Thank you, David. I just want to show everybody this wonderful design here. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh, excellent! They own it. Yeah, have you mentioned the Leicester Football Club? Yeah, that's it. Excellent. And well, this is the goalkeeper Club. Schumacher. Yes, wonderful. And this is the people. captain of Leicester, Leicester. And this is the. The manager. The manager, wonderful. Ah, okay, yeah, and you've got a bit of your portfolio, a bit of a summary of what you've done here, and you've got the Britain's Got Talent judges. Excellent. Oh, yeah, the ITV and BBC presenters, famous celebrities. Wonderful. The mirror wife. And this is the yeah. rock band singer, Magnum, the singer. Ah, oh, the singer. Yeah, Excellent. The singer, yeah. Britain and China's Got Talent. And this is the president of the Guinness World Cup. The, the pre big president. Yeah, Whoa, big president, how did it feel yeah. being on top of his yeah, head? Like he the one who issued this one to me. Oh, so he the one who presented this one to me. Yeah, this is the one. Ah, the world's yeah. fastest pumpkin car. Yeah, that's that, that, he the one that was president. And this is one of the very famous carver. Yes. He cut the needle. He the MBE holder. The MBE queen. holder. Yeah, the queen giving the MBE. He the one of the smaller carver in the world. Right. You can see that you need to get the microscope to see the needle. In yeah. There. He's one of my best friends. He's really good. One of your best friends. Wonderful. So, you, so you, you, so you've clearly made a lot of friends on this journey as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. And UK politicians, and I'm oh, very this familiar is a, with UK the politicians. The mayor of London, and when a couple the politicians in Malaysia. And I think being a politics student myself is really interesting to see how you've met the UK politicians as well. Very, very interesting. Uh, this is the mayor of, of Birmingham. Mayor of Birmingham. Yeah. Right. So it's. Um, very local to us as well. Uh, this is about about the the journey of the super to go to Malaysia. Yeah. For the for the judge or invited by the one of the judges. Excellent. And then the Asian wedding is done. See, okay. And this is the first book. Uh, this one was released. Uh, I can't remember. I think more than five five years ago. And one of the the, the book writer. Mm. And then he he, he emailed to me and then called me. Would you like to have uh, one of the book into the one one hundred eighty celebrity in there? This is a book that uh, I'm going to have into my book as well. This is Guru Ramsey, yeah. Ali Ferguson, Amanda Holder, and this is Master Chef, Gino Oh Kongo, yeah, Master Chef, yeah. Marco Pellawai, yes. I was in there as well. Wonderful. And what Jim Martin, and the BBC, I came home as well. Yes. Yeah, Ken Hong. Oh yeah, Ken yeah, Hong, yes. He's one of the famous celebrity. Great. Well, David, it's been lovely to speak to you about your journey. Honestly, like listening to you and talking to you about kind of like, you know, where you started as well, where you are now and how you want to share your skills with the world. It's really, really interesting. So, yes, thank you for showing us some of your wonderful art that's really interesting to look at. So if anyone wants to get in touch with you then on social media, how can they do that? Yeah, you can just go to www.melaman.co.uk. Mm -hmm. This is about me.
Yes, let's have a look. Thank you. This is it, everybody. Yeah. This is the Melon Man plaque. So his Instagram username is Melon Man UK, and his Facebook is Melon Man with a space. You can visit his website at www.melonman.co.uk. So, David, it's been lovely to speak to you. Um, and I just want to ask you: Do you have any tips for any any of the listeners or any of the viewers who want to start carving? How can they get into that without obviously revealing your secret? As to how well, you do it? I I won't be mad and shame my secret for ever I have because mm. there's so many carvers in the world. Yes. And the one of the best carvers in, in in the world is America. Mm. If we were we were from, that is the best pumping pumpkin carver in the world. Right, in America. For America, yeah. <laughs> because me is melon man. This is personalized for me. This is my yeah. brand. <laughs> this is how I, I start to to get the name to get the London. Yes, the James feel. Bond. to learn mm. difficult song and then learn uh give me pace mm -hmm. save it to heaven okay so david uh, so david i've got a quick question for you when did you first learn to play the guitar uh, when I was young, I like to I like music, but yeah. I, I don't have the proper teacher to teach me. Right. And I just get a stone book to jam with some of the friends to mm -hmm. play around. Oh, from your friends and you jam with. Now I learning from one of the guitar teacher who right. teaches me. He been playing the guitar for more than forty five years. More than forty five years. Yeah, he's wow. very very good mm. guitar teacher. That's and excellent. this is what I learn. I, I spend every day to learn how to play, and mm -hmm. then I, I like the song. I like to learn the song, but you need to learn the basic thing first. Yes, the basic and then the foundation. Before, it seems like you do the cooking, every chef can cook. Yes. But I can cook a good food, it's not all the chef can cook. No. But you need to work very hard on it before you can get it. I work seven days a day, mm -hmm. every week, seven days. Seven days a week. Well, that's yeah. commitment, everybody. You've heard it from David here that, you know, you have to have... I want to be a good chef. Yes, so you have to work the it. interesting yeah. chef, one of the chefs I like is Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, yes. He's the one of the best chefs in the world, I can say. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I always ready, anytime ready. <laughs> I got the tuning to guitar first, okay? You see now? Yeah, let's go. Metallica watching me, I'm playing it. <laughs> Hopefully they are.
lovely to meet you. And that was David's rendition. So he's going to now cook for us. I'm going to try that. And it's my dad. And I'm very, very excited to try that. Thank you, everybody, you, for tuning you, you in. You're recording live as well. Yes, so David. So we're going to continue. Now, if you only pack one on it, okay? Yes. People like to follow up. You want me to continue? Just, yeah, continue. Why not? Okay, everybody. So <laughs> change the plans. We're going to continue. The camera keep on rolling. Yeah? Yes, the camera will keep on rolling if David this is about about it. Entertaining food. We will like to feed food, right? <laughs> Right, everybody. If, if, you, if you cook slowly, cook and be calm, slowly, calm, people are going to feel good. So, sleep. we're going to have a look then. Me is the one of the action chefs. So, here, here is an action chef. We're going to stay rolling, everybody. But for those of you who've tuned in, thank you. I'm Faith Brunel. This is Faith Brunel Insights, our very first video podcast. So great to be here. Thank you, David, for your rendition, for your stories, and for your food.